Now we're going to start right into our professional MMA. Who's ready to watch some fights? This bout is brought to you by Creative Exchange. It is a bantamweight fight, contested at 135 pounds. First, out of the red corner, Brandon Gimmick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we have Brandon Bulldog Grimmett coming into the ring. Definitely a fighter that has a ton of experience, although maybe not so impressive on paper. He is 0-10. He's an independent coming out of Trinity, North Carolina. Weighing in here at 135 today. But that is an insane amount of ring time for an amateur, or a pro. That's an insane amount of ring time. At five five-minute rounds, looking to see what Mr. Grimmett brings to the case today. Yeah, you're right, Justin, about that. Definitely with 0 and 10, it may not seem impressive, but 0 and 10 is a lot of experience. Like you said, five minutes in a round, he's coming in here with a lot more pro experience than James Adcock right now. Not saying it's a benefit, not saying it's a, a crutch, but definitely he's seen some things right now. You can only lose so many times to the same thing. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he can pull out right now, the bulldog. You never count a bulldog out. Hey, would you want to be counting in the corner with a bulldog right now? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, Brennan Grimmett's last win uh, came in 2012. He uh, won via TKO. Since then, he's been he's been on a, 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 a downslope of 17 losses. And uh, six years ago, with his last win, Tapology's got him at 6% and his to win opponent. this. It's his opponent. Out of the but, uh, blue he's corner, James Adcock. But he's definitely, he's definitely a contender, and he's an exciting fighter. He knows how to, he's got a fan base. You got your uh, tail to tape here. Yes, sir. Tail to tape showing up. Adcock being three years older, three inches taller. I wish we knew the reach advantage on these guys right here. Oh, you're going to see as they come I, out. These guys are. James Adcock's got the reach advantage, I believe. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty evident when we come out here. The crowd is going crazy right now for James Adcock out of the Knoxville Mar Martial Arts Academy <laughs> corner. Hometown boy here with James Adcock making his way to the ring. Yeah, you'll know when the Knoxville boys are coming out here. See what I mean? If you can hear them, they're going ecstatic right now. Knoxville Martial Arts Academy is supporting quite a few fighters on the card tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so you will definitely be seeing this. Coach Eric Turner Very with well. his fighter, James Adcock. This is a familiar ritual to anyone coming out of the Knoxville Martial Arts Academy area there. Yeah, you see a, a OSP there, familiar face to fighters around the world, they know. Also thought that KMAA, dude. Always good to have that type of professional experience, being able to uh, use that knowledge, that background from the UFC. Always good to have that in your corner and a teammate and a sparring partner. Speaking of knowledge, Marky Fourfingers over there getting all of them coming in. That guy's awesome right there. That's Cup Man, yeah. That's our Cup Man. Well, he gets amped up for these things, too. He does. Here he comes. Definitely a local MMA celebrity. Oh, yeah. He's... Like I said, this is a Bantamweight fight contested at 135 pounds. First, out of the red corner, this man is an independent fighter from Trinity, North Carolina. He has a record of zero wins with 10 defeats. Brandon the Bulldog Grimmett! What's up, baby? Do you? His opponent, standing across the cage hey, in the blue corner. This fighter has a record of two wins with three losses. Fights out of Knoxville Martial Arts Academy in Knoxville, Tennessee. James Adcock! <laughs> Your referee for this fight is Jimmy Neal. All right, and as our rounds begin, Grimmett throws first with a kick. Adcock answering with that large right overhand, putting pressure, making sure that Grimmett is pressed against the cage. Adcock still working. Using a tilt to come off the cage. 
Adcock with a large knee to the face. Flake. Good. You got your wizard. That's an easy attack if you want it. You good? You good? Adcock secures a wizard as Grimmett keeps pressure against him on the cage. A little overhand, a little tit for tat, just trying to get Grimmett thinking about something else other than that pressure by punching him in the face. Grabs a hold of the neck. Adcock seeing an opportunity. May be able to pull around. Has one hook in for possibly rear naked if he goes for this, but chooses to stay on the side. Grimmett not doing much to defend this at all. We might just see him. We might just see him go out here, ladies and gentlemen. Adcock still has it locked in, still trying to work. Grimmett still trying to fight. Adcock really needing to secure a rear naked would have to have stayed on the back there, but falling off, kind of taking it safe out of the way for that submission. Grimmett reverses. Adcock using hips against the cage. Grimmett really looking confused as he climbs up and down trying to figure out what exactly he's going to do. He had good hip pressure if he wanted to rain down punches and chose not to use the damage. And now he's allowed Adcock back to his feet. Serving your wrist. Good. There you go. Good job. All right. We have a standing guillotine attempt from Mr. Adcock. James Adcock pressing forward, hips high. Grimmett looking to defend. And we see the tap. As Grimmett falls to 0 11, congratulations to James Adcock. Rising to a three and three. What a great attempt at that standing guillotine. Just seeing the opportunity and pressing forward. You just see the overall training, that polished technique from James Adcock. As opposed to that of Brandon Grimmett. Hometown crowd going crazy for Mr. Adcock here. Congratulations to him and the best of luck to Mr. Grimmett. Also, at 0 and three, it's just, I hope to see fighters that are independent and just want to be tough. I'm glad to see them step in the ring as the amateur ranks, but in the pros, you really need to be more polished. You really need to see those techniques. So hopefully he'll be able to step into a gym soon for that. Looking here at the replay, we can see that pressure. Adcock using the tilt, switch, pull around, standing guillotine, and just a lack of experience in training. We'll throw it to Shamir in the ring. make this official. At one minute, and 39 seconds out of the blue corner, your winner by submission, guillotine choke, James!